world traveler Luana Rubin gets to go to some of the most amazing quilt shows in the world. And you're here today to talk about the quilt festival in Birmingham, England, right? Yeah, it's one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. I went there this August, mm -hmm. and I took a bunch of photos, and I brought them back to share with all oh, of you. Great. So yes. we can talk about trends and things, different kinds of quilts Absolutely. that you saw. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So the great thing about this show is you see quilts from quilters all over Europe. So it's a wide variety of flavors and spices, you might say. Nice. And one of the things that I really wanted to point out is the machine quilting is just phenomenal. And I brought uh, this very traditional trapunto piece. It's all in cream. It's almost like a whole cloth, but not quite. Mm -hmm. But you can see that there's all this incredible feather and trapunto and stipple stitching that really makes the details pop out. And it's mm -hmm. not a traditional medallion. It's kind of an eight-pointed lace medallion. It's gorgeous. And this one really leads us into talking about the influence of modern quilts on quilting today. And mm -hmm. everywhere I go, I see that there are you know, details and influences and trends that are kind of bleeding over, transferring from the modern quilt movement. And in this one, we have really a modern uh, color story, but we have very intricate machine quilting. So it's kind of a blend of traditional It's like a transition modern. piece, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So part of modern, of course, is piecing and intricate piecing. And at QuiltCon, we saw a couple years ago, we saw a beautiful pieced quilt that won the top prize that looked like a giant diamond, diamond right? Mm -hmm. So here's another interpretation of that diamond. And what's interesting is you see all these colors reflecting, just like with a real mm -hmm. uh, cut diamond, the flashing. It almost looks like a landscape with water or something mm. and land, and it's reflected in the facets of the stone. It does, mm -hmm. right. You can really go into it. You can travel into the image. Nice. So a similar color story, but a very different approach. This quilt really seems to have a light from within, don't you think? Yes. And the quilter works with the Fibonacci series. So if you take a look, you may recognize some of that Fibonacci uh, equation or proportion mm -hmm. in the quilt. But I love how it, the, the firelight seems to come out of the darkness in this yes. piece. Yes, very luminous. Mm -hmm. Here's another one that I would call modern or certainly modern influence. And these are all little one inch postage stamp pieces. Wow. But it's a very large quilt. So when you walk up to it, of course, from a distance, you have one impression. As you get closer, you realize what it is and it kind of blows you away. Yeah. And a lot of the ones we just have talked about mm -hmm. have um, emphasis on light and light source too. That's right. Mm -hmm. I think that luminous quality, and we see here in the US a lot of quilters, modern quilters are using ombre fabrics to create that same three-dimensional luminous effect. Mm -hmm. Well, on a completely different topic, here are some very European quilts. And this one is a combination of uh, the white peacock, so wildlife, mm -hmm. or maybe a domestic pet, depending on whether you live in a castle uh -huh. or not. And a manor or a castle? Yes, the manor or castle, and really interesting script. Yeah. And, and then that traditional pieced background with all of this information and, and details and kind of Celtic swirls that are going on. Yeah, and front. is this a serpent going around? It is. Outside here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are a lot of things to see. This again was a very large quilt. Mm -hmm. And I just love this piece. This is so striking. And I, I love when I see something with a spectacular use of color. The background is all pebble stitching, but the foreground is a kind of a, a feather horizontal striped stitching over these layers of feathers. Yeah, and quilting, really awesome in the background too. Right, and so that eagle eye really pops out of this, yeah. this portrait. Okay, let's push, pull these out of the way so we can start on the next set. Right. So uh, this is by a quilter, Janneke, who's won many awards in Europe and in the US. And often her topic is African women. And here we see uh, women dancers. And if you look at it very closely, if you really get close, and again, this is quite a large piece, you can see the intricate stitching, the overlay of light stitching that represents like a lace uh, over the dark background. So it's a very striking kind of silhouette piece. And you know, silhouettes are very popular right now. It's a trend in photography and design. Mm -hmm. So I think she's done a, a very fine job of expressing that that trend here. Yeah, nice movement, mm -hmm. that piece too. So along the lines of uh, portrait quilts, this is one of the most amazing portrait quilts I've ever seen. So this again was one of those quilts where you see it from a distance, you think you know what you're looking at, and you start to get closer and you start to realize, oh, this is made up of tiny squares. And then you get closer and you see that each of those little pixelated squares is another photograph. 
So the Wonderful. the time that it took to make this, uh, this kind and those of are all photos of the, this couple. So it's memories from their lives. I believe their so. Yes, I think yeah. the title was "60 Years of Memories." Yeah. So, quite an amazing piece. Uh, we do see the Asian influence starting to come into Europe, which is interesting because we've seen that in the U.S. for, for a, a while. Time, yeah. So I thought this was a really a beautiful botanical quilt with hand-painted fabrics and a lot of uh, mm. stitching and really colors that pop. Um, mm -hmm. Not quite complimentary, but almost. Mm -hmm. And a kind of a luminous bright green of the lily pad. So this is also a portrait, but this has kind of a lacy stitch overlay on top of the face. Beautiful. And, and also the cherry blossoms. So it's almost like she's looking through a veil or a screen. Mm -hmm. And this was a larger than life portrait That's, as well. Yeah, lovely. This piece is a Russian quilter who moved to France and shows her quilts all over the world. And it's, uh, she does very Russian icon looking mm. portraits. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. They're very abstract, almost Picasso-ish and very interesting kind of moody use of color. Yeah, great shape, it shapes mm -hmm. in there too. And speaking of color, you know, a lot of people are very interested in the northern lights now. People are traveling up to the north to see the glaciers before they melt. Mm -hmm. But also, they're realizing you can go up and see the northern lights. So these are, again, silhouettes of uh, three figures here in the foreground that are looking at the northern lights. It's oh, great. And another great color piece. So this is looking up at a hot air balloon. I just thought it was so interesting. A lot yeah. of times you see, you know, the typical pear shape of looking at the hot air balloon from mm -hmm. the side. And here we have this other perspective. Yeah. And the, the this one's colors. about perspective, too. Yes, it is. And so this is uh, some folks who are riding on a whirling ride through the air. And some of these abstract figures. But the way it's been, uh, the way it's and put together really gives a feeling of movement. Yeah. And this is a fun piece with the text in the background, the black and white and the colors on the front. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Fun to see all that diversity and mm -hmm. yeah, great. Thanks so much. You're very Thanks welcome. Thanks for sharing your travels with us. Absolutely. Absolutely.